I'm here with a legendary wrestler, Al Snow. And I am excited to be here with you, Joe. Really? Yes, I am. I didn't realize that when I came to Spooky Empire that I was going to get my, an honor such as this to sit with such a celebrity as you. I mean, you have your own show, the Joe Vitrella Show, and I, I, I'm, I'm astounded that they would let somebody like me sit with somebody like you. Well, thank you. It's on the internet, you know. I mean, well, with your, you know, Mr. Peabody-esque type of appearance, you know, I'm surprised the chicks aren't just swarming all over you. Yeah, so am I sometimes, but, uh, you know. Really, uh, knowing your dating history, probably more like the police are not swarming all over you. You know, Joe uh, gave me a tip on how to pick up women was just to get a panel van, a bottle of chloroform, and a roll of duct tape. <laughs> so. Come on. Okay, that was supposed to be, like, uh, my own little private tips, you know. I don't want everybody, you know, stealing my game. Yeah, true, I, especially because Christmas is coming up, and Christmas season, according to Joe, is the best time of year because it's like hunting season out in the parking lot. You just pull up with the van, slide the door open, you hear a girl scream, there's a high heel left, and off he goes. So, okay, um, outside of the regular wrestling questions, yes. I heard you, you were- can ask the regular wrestling questions if you want, or you can ask me any other question you want to do. I'll, I'm, a, I'm just a, a source of information. Well, I heard that uh, you had a role in the movie Rudy as one of the football players. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So how was that uh, to get to uh, beat up on uh, one of the hobbits? It was, uh, it was exciting. Any time that I can smack a midget around, I, uh, I, I think life is complete. I don't know about you. Um, but, uh, you know, the, I'm not really uh, proud of some of the scenes. I mean, I did the shower scene, which was like a precursor to Oz, you know. I know for you, if you were to go to jail, you'd probably use powdered soap because it takes longer to pick up when you drop it. But uh, myself, I, you know, I, I tried anal sex once and I couldn't sit down for a week and I swore off of it after that, so. Man, yeah, you know, one drawback about using powdered soap in prison is when you put it in a sock and try to hit somebody it with it. It doesn't work, no. No, you just get a big cloud. No, but uh, if you ask my wife, an orange in a tube sock works great. I'll have to keep that one in mind. It's down on bruising, so. Yeah. That or just hold the phone book up to her, you know? Man. So, um, okay, now, now to get to the regular wrestling questions. Sure. Okay, so... Um, We've all seen some of your hardcore matches, some of the just the like, crazy stuff you've done over the years. What would you have to say is the most brutal hardcore moment ever in your wrestling career? Uh, it would be probably when I wrestled myself. Yeah. Um, done that several times. And uh, the night that I wrestled Head, uh, I wrestled Head and uh, it was a great match. It was probably a legendary moment in the uh, wrestling business in front of uh, like 66,000 people at the Toronto Sky Dome. Yeah. So do you ever think there will ever be a reunion of the team of head cheese? One can only not hope, but y you know, it, it, hope does spring eternal. And uh, with Captain Charisma out there lurking right now, somewhere stalking somebody, ready to pounce and kill them at a moment's notice, if Steve Blackman doesn't get caught and arrested, I'm sure there'll be, an, you know, I'm sure there'll be a reunion at some point. Okay, uh, what is your favorite wrestling gimmick that you've seen out there so far? Well, my f uh, my favorite <laughs> my favorite that I haven't done. Uh, uh, I just saw a guy by the name of Dirty Sanchez, uh, which I haven't seen him wrestle, but uh, he has a flesh-colored mask with bushy eyebrows and uh, the mustache. And uh, he has a, a, a bodysuit, and he has a giant patch of pubic hair in the crotch, which is tremendous. And, okay, and now your least favorite wrestling gimmick that you've seen over the years. My least favorite? Uh, boy, that's tough to call. I, probably uh, Avatar, because I didn't get paid very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. I mean, it was a new, you know, they were, it was a pioneering direction. You know, most uh, most masked wrestlers put the mask on to hide their identity. You know, I was the first to carry the mask out, put it on, and then take it back off, and everybody's like, hey, wait, we already knew who you were. So, yeah, didn't really work. So uh, what is next for Al Snow? Well, I have a couple things on the table. Uh, right now I'm, I've been training really hard. I'm taking on a... Uh, uh, a really extreme sport. Uh, I'm joining the uh, Professional Russian Roulette Players Association, 
and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, being the rookie of the year, uh, you know. But uh, I think next year is going to be kind of tough. I hear there are a lot of veterans that are coming off the bench. They were sidelined with injuries, but, you know, they're coming back. So. Man, that's funny because I hear in Russian roulette, especially in the pro series, you only really get one shot. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much a sudden death kind of competition. So, you know, you, 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 it's all or nothing. So, uh, and that, and uh, I've been training uh, uh, midgets for cage fighting uh, to uh, fight to the death. So... So, uh, I think our, that's going to be a neck, you know, big pay-per-view thing, you know. Yeah. With uh, with midget cage fighting, like I hear a lot of great stuff, but I, I always hear that the matches are really short. They are, they are, and so are the competitors. But just imagine, if you will, uh, Burn Troyer on a rascal with like a pen knife, which would look like a huge lance in his hand, and then like you know uh, Gary Coleman across from him with like one of those little souvenir baseball bats, which looks like like a giant club. And them going at it, you know, and the theme, the music from the fight scene in Star Trek, that, 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 that played in the background. Yeah. Man. That's money. Man. Well, uh, thank you very much for all your time. I really Joe, appreciate it. Thank you. I, you know, I thought that the highlights of my career after nearly 30 years had come to an end, but then, much to my surprise, I got to meet you. All right. Well, thank you, and it, it was definitely a pleasure. Thank you.